Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for a daily reading. Now, if you are brand spanking new, I'm not religious. I'm not churchy. I'm not Jewish. All right, but I do come from a Hebraic lineage. And I do use all kinds of stuff on my channel to get the message from the Spirit out, okay, in all uh, truth and sincerity. Um, so, I am going to read scripture. Sometimes I get on here and do that. So, if it's upright, and truthful, and wise, then I take it. Okay? I do know who my Elohim is, and that is Jehovah, and he deserves all praise, glory, and honor on these gates. And uh, he, so he's building the tower, and whoever is going to be on this tower with me, then you're going to learn who Jehovah is, because I'm learning too. As we go, uh, all the days of our life, we should be chasing after his heart, right? So anyway, that's who I am in a nutshell. He is my salvation. He is my Yeshua in Hebrew. So I'm going to read a little something from King Solomon, who was um, wise. And uh, we know that Solomon uh, was um, approached by Elohim, and uh, Elohim asked him what he wanted. And he said, it, you know, he could have had anything, and he chose wisdom. And because wisdom is, uh, is a principal thing for us to grab a hold of, um, we love the, the, the wisdom that he had, that Elohim himself gave him. So... Please be patient with me. This is actually the second time around. I'm going to try to read this um, chapter again. I'm still having my coffee, still trying to kick in. So, <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> be patient with me. If, if you're returning, welcome back. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday or happy anniversary as well. Uh, if you're having a celebration or anything like that with uh, your family and your friends and having just a relaxing day on the Shabbat, uh, then beautiful. Enjoy it with all your heart. Um, so, anyway... <clears throat> I'm going to read out of Ecclesiastes, and uh, these are the words of King Solomon. Who is as the wise man, and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the strength of his face shall be changed. I counsel thee to keep the com king's commandment, and that in regard of the oath of Elohim. Be not hasty to go out of his sight, and stand not in an evil thing, for he doeth whatsoever pleaseth him. Where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, What doest thou? Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. And a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Because to every purpose there is time and judgment. Therefore, the misery of a man is great upon him, for he knoweth not <clears throat> that which shall be. For who can tell him when it shall be? <clears throat> Excuse me. There is no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit, neither hath he power in the day of death, and there is no discharge in that war, neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. All this have I seen and applied my heart unto every work that is done under the sun. There is a time wherein one man ruleth over another to his own hurt. And so I saw the wicked buried and had come and done and gone from the place of the holy. And they were forgotten in the city where they had so done. And this also was vanity. Just a second here. Um, and because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. That's horrible. I want to read it again because I, I, it, it's, it needs to be lodged into us. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Right when we see it, we need to execute judgment against that thing. And because it is not executed speedily, Solomon is telling us, therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear Elohim, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he 
prolong his days, which as a, a, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before Elohim. There is a vanity which is done upon the earth, that there be just men unto whom it happeneth according to the work of the wicked. Again, there be wicked men to whom it happeneth according to the work of the righteous. I said that this is also vanity. Then I commended mirth. Because a man hath no better thing under the sun than to eat and to drink and to be merry. For that shall abide with him of his labor the days of his life which Elohim giveth him under the sun. And when I applied mine heart to know wisdom and to see the business that is done upon the earth. For also there is that neither see day nor night uh, see it sleep with his eyes. Let me read that again. When I applied mine heart to know wisdom and to see the business that is done upon the earth. And then in parentheses it says, For also there is that neither day nor night see it sleep with his eyes. And then I beheld all the work of Elohim that a man could not find out the work that is done under the sun. We just can't do it, people. Because though a man labor to seek it out, Yet he shall not find it. Yea, farther, further, though a wise man think to know it, yet shall he not be able to find it. So, I, I was saying on the other video, obviously we should seek after uh, finding and having wisdom, but we're never going to find it in its fullness is what he's saying here, because the, 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 the Spirit is a mystery to us. The key is to walk in our moment in truth and weigh a matter out in truth, okay? And to keep the commandments of the king, the king of king, the king of glory. <clears throat> he says if we keep the commandments, we're safe there. We really, really are. That To fear that within the commandment of, of keeping the king, we really do um, find a protection around us to lead us, okay? So, I just wanted to bring out a little <clears throat> scripture here for us, as I do on the Shabbat, and sometimes I do just outside the Shabbat, <laughs> uh, and bless you all today. Uh, I will actually be back to do a reading shortly, and so until next time, Shalom.